Good Tuesday morning, County Dragons. Uh, it is Tuesday, January 23rd. It is the 112th day of school, and we are continuing with our uh, Black History Month today. Our spirit day is uh, HBCU, or uh, College Day, your uh, favorite college t-shirt or shirt um, is what you're supposed to be wearing, or your favorite uh, HBCU, Historically Black College, wear that attire uh, is what you're supposed to be wearing today. Of course, I am doing this the day before, so I don't have it, but I will. When you, when you see me today, I'll be wearing some Ohio State stuff because that's my favorite college. All right, also on this day in black history, 1868, on February 23rd, 1868, W.E.B., William Edwards, Du Bois was uh, born. He's a writer, an activist, and he's also the first African American to earn a doctorate degree from Harvard University. He was a writer. And the interesting thing is, his writings and where he went to college inspired our next person who, on this date in 1965, Constant Baker Motley, she was also a civil rights attorney, read a lot of what W.E.B. Du Bois wrote. She was elected Manhattan Bureau President, which is kind of like the mayor of Manhattan. Uh, she later became the, uh, the first black woman elected as a New York state senator. So on this day in 1965, she was the named president of the Manhattan Bureau. Uh, so this is what has happened on this date in history, February 23rd. Here we go. It's now time for our pledges and our moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in Elizabeth, in liberty, for justice for all. I pledge myself as a Kennedy dragon to ready for the day in heaven. I'll be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all of others in the end of the day. And Paul is responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I work my hardest for the best dragon I can be. Awesome job. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. All right, now that we've done our pledges and we've done our moment of silence, it's time to model what good hand washing looks like. Like I said yesterday, our numbers are coming down. We're almost below 25 cases per 100,000. And it's because we've been doing a good job, but we can't stop doing a good job. We've got to keep doing it. We've got to make sure that we're doing our four things each and every day that will help slow down the spread of germs and viruses. First one, wear a mask. Make sure you're wearing it over your nose and over your mouth. Second one, make sure you keep your social distance. Make sure that you're not able to touch the people around you and not in each other's faces. Give some distance between each other. The third one, if you're sick, stay home. Don't come to school if you're sick. And the fourth one, wash these hands. These hands touch things and then they you touch them or put them toward your face and it spreads germs just like that. So you want to make sure we're keeping these clean. You want to use soap and water, and you want to make sure you're doing it for at least 20 seconds. Um, if you can't get soap and water, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer like this one. Um, but if you can use soap and water, that's even better. Make sure you're doing it frequently. That means definitely after you go to the bathroom, uh, before you eat, uh, definitely after you've touched anything uh, that someone else has touched. But you want to make sure that you're washing fronts, backs, tips, all of it for at least 20 seconds. When we do our hand washing, this is when we do our, um, our um, name that tune. Uh, and this is here we go. So let's get going right now.
favorite songs, uh, Brick House by the Commodores. Celebration. That's some Motown right there for you in celebration of Black History Month, a little Motown. All right, here we go. Hopefully you got that one. If you don't know that song, you should listen to it. Great song. One of the greatest songs of all time. Four. Uh, lunch today. Popcorn chicken with roll, whole grain roll. Mashed potatoes, broccoli trees, and peaches. If you don't want uh, uh, popcorn chicken, uh, mashed potatoes, broccoli trees, and peaches, you can always get PB&J or yogurt muffin. Guess what? You'll get some mashed potatoes and broccoli and the peaches as well. So there you go if you're getting lunch today. All right, tomorrow um, is for our um, Black History uh, celebration for this week. Tomorrow, February 24th, is Heart and Soul Day. So wear kindness or loved themed shirts, and we're going to spread kindness and sprinkle it out throughout our day. Uh, Thursday, rep the culture, wear red, yellow, or green. And then Friday, everyone wearing black in uh, to show unity. And that's what we're going to be doing. All right, our morning message today is on confidence and fairness. How many of you know who General Colin Powell is? Maybe you've seen him on television or you've heard your parents talk about him. He was the Secretary of State for President George W. Bush, and he was one of the most powerful leaders in our country. Colin Powell is the success he is today because he always moved towards his goals with confidence. In other words, even when things were hard, even when people were unfair to him because he was an African-American, General Powell always did the best job he could because he believed in himself and he was proud to be an American. So next time you feel you aren't good enough or smart enough, remember, Colin Powell and do your very best you can. Ask for help if you need it. You can learn to believe in yourself and be the best that you can. But something to think about how Mr. Butcher makes today, your masterpiece not. And that's true. you got to believe in yourself. Okay? It's super easy to say, ah, I can't do it, and not even try. But if you don't try, you never know if you're going to be able to do it. And the more you try, the better you're going to be. And the more you try and the better you be, the more you're going to achieve. Okay? Sometimes we just say we can't do it because we don't even want to try because we're, fair, we're scared that we're going to fail. And guess what? You might fail, but guess what? It's no big deal. You just get back up and try again and try again and try again until you get it. All right, that's all the announcements I have for today. Please help me, Mr. Newbert, your teachers, keep you safe. Um, if you're a digital student, uh, your parents, help them keep you safe. Um, that's our job. And it, your job is to help us, and you can help us by being a ready, being a respectful, being a responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader focused on graduation, you are boldly committed to student success. If you're in the building, it's time for a mask check. Make sure they're putting our masks on the right way. We want to make sure that it is over our nose over our mouth, tight around the ear so it doesn't dangle down. You guys have a great day. I love you very much.